Hello everybody, my name is Arjun Vadhavan and I'm 29 years old and I live in Amsterdam. I recently graduated with a PhD from University of Amsterdam and through this video I want to tell you five kind of jobs that you can do after your PhD. Now why I decided to make this video is most of the people do know that after finishing a PhD you can do a postdoc but let's say if you don't want to do a postdoc what other career path or what other kind of companies or jobs are out there that typically a PhD can do and mostly does. I have a lot of friends around who also graduated recently and this data is based on you know my own research while I was applying for industry and also talking to my friends. Mind you, there must be more career paths and more jobs out there which, does, which I do not cover here. But according to me, these are the five most common ones that exist. And since I graduated from Netherlands in Amsterdam, I definitely have a bias. So I will tell you how I see it from a, someone who has graduated in Amsterdam. And this can be different from different part of the world. Number one, the most common job that people do after PhD uh, beyond postdoc, which I find is to become a R&D research scientist in uh, big companies like ASML, Philips, DSM, uh, Exxon Nobel in Netherlands. All these companies hire PhDs to do, you know, become a R&D or research scientist and do something that is data science or analytics or building models or testing, you know, one part of the one part of their whole process. But this is again very close to being doing the scientific work, but working in an industry setting. These companies hire a lot of PhDs and they keep hiring throughout the year. Number two, the second kind of job that is most famous is to become a data scientist in a fast-paced uh, consumer uh, world, like let's say companies in Netherlands like Booking.com, Facebook, Amazon, even Nike, Adidas, Bold.com. All these companies hire PhDs to work as a data scientist or data analyst or machine learning engineer in that frame or in that career path. A lot of people choose this because this is becoming really attractive and you can get pretty good salaries and it also helps you to shift uh, your fields. So let's say you've done a PhD in bioinformatics but you can work as a data scientist in general and then in later on shift to different industries. Number three, the third most common job or industry which I find is people choosing banking or finance. Banks, national banks in Netherlands like ING, ABN AMRO, all these banks offer offer jobs to PhDs to become you know, positions like risk modeler or financial modelers. And you work mostly in a financial setting where you, you mostly work with their data or build model and help them in increasing profitability or different parts of their whole chain. Number four will be the ones that pay the highest and this is trading jobs. In Amsterdam, companies like Da Vinci or companies like Optiver hire PhDs in the role of as a, tr as a trader or as an engineer or as a data scientist and you work in trading settings so you work away from your PhD mostly let's say if you've not done a scientific work but then if you've done a scientific work you move from a scientific environment and you do hardcore financial uh, trading work and these are very lucrative and they are mostly based out in Amsterdam as well. And number five is a special one which is becoming a patent attorney. I have a lot of friends who chose this uh, career path and companies like NLO do hire a PhD to become a patent attorney where you become specialized in uh, understanding the patent laws of different uh, geographies like USA or Asia. And then you help companies to file patent. This is also a very specialized job and a lot of people tend to apply for it and it's not that easy to get in, but I find it very attractive. And with that, I thank you all for watching this video. The goal of this video was to uh, share my information which I had gathered over my recruitment time after my PhD to get to, get to work in industry and to realize how different industries exist. Uh, yeah, I hope that you really like this video and if there's something else that you would like me to talk about, then uh, please feel free to reach out or read, uh, comment in the in the section below. Please do like and subscribe my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love it.